Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we are going to solve this given equation for x 17 divided by 3 square plus 14 divided by 3 square plus 11 divided by 3 square plus all the way to x equals to negative 66. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and as we can see on this equation, if the denominators 3 square is same as 9 likewise this 3 square is 9 as well this is 9 and it keeps going and we're gonna have a 9 in the denominator so therefore let's go ahead and multiply and divide this last term by 9 and 9 over here so this way we have a 9 in the denominator as well as you can see in this next equation and we can see that we have got uh, nines uh, in the denominators across the board and now we can observe that 1 over 9 is in common across the board so therefore we factored out 1 over 9 outside and we are left with the 17 plus 14 plus 11 all the way to 9x now let me go ahead and remove this uh, fraction 1 over 9 so therefore I'm going to multiply on the left hand side by 9 and at the same time I'm going to multiply on the right hand side 9 as well and we can see this 9 and 9 is gone and here's our next equation where negative 66 times 9 is going to give us uh, negative 5 94 on the right hand side and here we got uh, this uh, series and such kind of series is called arithmetic series because the difference between any two consecutive terms is going to be constant. Between these first two terms we have a difference is negative 3. Likewise this is negative 3 as well and this is going to stay same as we go along. So therefore our common difference uh, is negative 3 and it is represented by lowercase d and moreover our very first term which is 17 is represented by a sub 1 and our very last term which is 9x represented by a sub n and finally on this side on the right hand side this is our sum represented by s sub n so therefore we got this sum of arithmetic series where our a sub 1 is 17, a sub n is 9x, s of n is negative 594 and our lowercase d is negative 3. And now we are going to calculate the total number of terms in this uh, series. In other words we want to find out n equals to how much value? And now let's recall this sum of arithmetic series formula s of n equals to n divided by 2 times 2 a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks and we know our s of n is negative 594 equals to n divided by 2 we are going to find the value of n and 2 times a sub 1 is 17 plus uh, once again we don't know n just leave it n minus 1 times d is uh, negative 3 so let's go ahead and simplify furthermore if we got 594 negative sign on the left hand side n divided by 2 times 2 times 17 is 30 4 and here we are going to distribute so that is going to give us negative 3n plus 3 and here in this next step 34 plus 3 is going to give us 37 now let's go ahead and remove this fraction so therefore I'm going to multiply by 2 on the left hand side and 2 on the right hand side as well so when we multiply the left hand side that's going to give us negative 1188 equals to this 2 and 2 cancels out so we ended up n times 37 minus 3n let's go ahead and distribute right now so that is going to give us negative 11 
88 equal to 37 n minus 3 n square now let's move everything on the left hand side so therefore we got 3 n square minus 37 n minus 1188 equal to 0 and this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve this one by using a quadratic formula and here's the quadratic formula that we will be using to find the value of n and we can see now our a value is 3 our b value is negative 37 and our c value is negative 1188 now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this quadratic formula so n equal to minus and b is negative 37 plus r minus the square root of negative 37 whole square minus 4 times a is 3 c is negative 11 88 all over 2 times a is 3 and if we simplify everything we ended up with n equals to 37 plus or minus square root of 15625 divided by 6 and we know that the square root of 15625 is simply 125 as you can see in this uh, next step now let's go ahead and split these signs positive and negative signs so therefore we can have n equal to 37 plus 125 divided by 6 and the other one is going to be n equals to 37 minus 125 divided by 6 and here we got n equal to 162 divided by 6 so therefore n value turns out to be 27 and if we focus on this right hand side this is going to give us a negative value and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the value of x now and here's our well-known formula a of n equal to a of 1 plus n minus 1 times d where our a of n is 9x a of 1 is 17 and in our case is 27 and d is negative 3 so let's go ahead and fill in the blank so a of n is 9x equal to 17 plus n is 27 minus 1 times negative 3 let's uh, simplify furthermore 9x equal to 17 plus uh, that is going to give us 26 times negative 3 so 9x is going to be 17 minus uh, when we multiply 26 times negative 3 that is going to give us 78 so 9x equals to negative 61 let's divide both side by 9 to isolate x so therefore x value turns out to be negative 61 divided by 9 so thus our solution turns out to be a negative 61 divided by 9 Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.